How's it going, guys? It's me, Todd, the Flippin' Hustler. And I'm going to come to you with something different. You guys ready for something different? I, you know, primarily I do live working videos, and that's fun. But I need to get some other stuff up for you guys to watch, right? Right. So I thought, what can I do that's different? I'll do grab bags because I've been buying grab bags for the last year because they're fun. A lot of it's not worth anything, but every once in a while you find a gem. And I found some gems, trust me. Uh, so, usually it only takes one or two items out of a grab bag that I buy for $2.50 to pay for that. I usually buy two to four bags at a time. This time I bought two, so I spent five bucks. It'll take one item to pay for both of those, and then everything else is profit. Uh, now, keep in mind, 80% of it mm. might not be worth anything, but there's going to be some stuff that is worth some stuff. So, here is the large grab bags that I bought. Pretty fun. Go ahead and pop the staples on it and take a look and see. Now, I've sold a lot of stuff out of these bags in the past, and yeah, we're going to see what we have here. So, the first thing I see is a cup from 1980. Uh, I have a lot of these up right now. They're the gold and black coffee cups. Uh, this one's brand new. Very cool. So that'll go with the rest of the stuff. What do we have here? Another spoon. Spoon holder. That's big. I think these are for playing games. You put your, your dice, whatever, and then shake them, and then whatever. I think that's what those are for. Dairy Queen can koozie. It's a real treat. Dairy Queen. All right, what's this? Uh, some vintage golf tees. I'll put this in with my golf lots. And a lot of the stuff I just lot together. But every once in a while, there's one piece that's special. All right, what do you think this is? Uh, I know what it is, but I'll let you guys guess. It's a sewing kit. So I think my daughter has one of these in her backpack. Inside of there is scissors and some buttons and whatever. Kind of a cool little thing. By itself, not worth much, but if I put 10 of those together, all right? Oh, look, a trash bag for your car. What do we got here? Uh, a magnet. Woohoo! Nothing there. Oh, this is cool. It's a salesman sample, and I believe it's a mirror. It says Rain Tree for a younger, lovelier you. Sample number 720. Pop it open, there's a mirror inside. So that's kind of cool. And that is from, well, based on the picture, I'd say it's late 70s, early 80s kind of thing. Twin Ports Convalescent Duluth. Just a little, I don't know what that is. This is super cool right here. This is what it's all about for me. Salesman samples, look at that. Salesman samples, keychains. That is cool, man. Oops. You got Rider, Master Charge, something that says Gel It. You got a Buick keychain there. TWA, big strawberry scratch and sniff. Oh, man. A bunch of 1776. Yeah, very cool. Very cool. All right, what is this? This is going to be a ruler. I think, let's see. I think it's a ruler that has a big old magnifying glass on it. Let's take a look, guys. Ready? Bam. Big magnifying glass. Sweet. So, so far our gems are the salesman sample keychains. That will pay for this little bag here. That's probably, I don't know. I'll have to look it up. It's going to be good. This is still sealed. I have a knife on me. Crack it open from the bottom. I know what it is. It is a big paper clip for putting your notes on it. It says Pan Florida District. So, yeah, it's kind of fun. There's people are into everything, man. You never know, you know. Uh, let's see here. There's that's gonna pay for this whole thing right here. These go for about 22 bucks. I just recently sold one of these, so here's 22. Even if this thing only goes for 20, let's, let's say 40 bucks right there. 
Because there's some of these keychains in here I've sold individually for like nine bucks. So we're at 40 bucks there on a 250 investment. What are these? Ocean Shore Ironworks. Oh, they're uh, calendars. What year are they from? 92? No, that'd be cool. 1983. They're all Norman Rockwell. Look at that. So I can lot all these up. Norman Rockwell calendars, and I bet those will sell. Uh, what else is this? Quality standards, make narrow. Just a, a writing pad. A few more things. Mayflower. Oh, it's, it's a mirror inside there. The ladies used to carry these in their purse. So there's that. Oh, these are so cool, man. This is the second one I've gotten. Uh, it's called the Little Chiseler. All-purpose tool. Safely scrapes and cuts away like a sharp chisel. Dozens of uses. Here's just a few. Pot and pan scraper, pocket or purse, sleet scraper, snow, ski boot, binding scraper, paint tar scraper, lawn and garden digging utensil, putty knife, fish scaler. Effectively scrapes any surface you don't want to mar or scratch. On the back it has Faulkner tires. And the guy's name was John Carson. Nice. I use mine when I'm putting tape on boxes. I'll use the this end, the side, to to smooth out the tape, make sure it's all really sticky and adhered. Uh, here's a pocket trivia game from 1983. I've looked at the the questions in here, and it's cool, man. It's old. Keychain by itself not worth much, but if I put ten of these together, it's worth something. A thermometer, vintage salesman sample. Uh, I'm putting together a uh, thermometer lot because there's people out there into everything, right? This, I believe, is for your feet if you've got dry feet or something. Um, I've got probably seven of these, so I'll add this to the pile, and once I get ten, I'll list them all together. And that's what I usually do with these guys, these grab bags. And every once in a while, you get some gems like this. But I do this for fun. It's just fun to me. Good Medical Shepherd Center. What's in here? Oh, it's for putting your pills. You know, when you're on the when traveling or something. And a billfold. Sweet. Special thanks from Transamerica Life Insurance Companies. Nice. But it's a vinyl billfold. But still, pretty cool. So that is everything that was in that grab bag. Let's recap. Where's the money at in that bag? Right here and right here. These keychains. That's going to pay for everything. That's 40 bucks worth. Uh, the rest, I, I've got different boxes with all those different things. Like I've got a box with these. I've got a box with thermometers. So that once I get to a certain point, then I just lot everything up together. So in the meantime, I'll just throw all this stuff in this tote until it goes to its designated box. And then we'll get on with the second of the two grab bags. I hope you're enjoying this, this grab bag thing that I'm doing now. Uh, if you are, please go ahead and like this video. And be sure you're subscribed, and really make sure you hit the notification bell. I realize that I'm not, no, I don't have my notification bell set for a lot of people, so make sure you hit that. And we're gonna grab get this other bag. My name's Todd, the Flippin' Hustler. All the stuff I sell on eBay, right? I've got a premium store with 800 plus active at any given time, and I've got to get to work after this video is done because I've got 18 more calendars to ship. Oh yeah, let me digress for a second. In this morning's live shipping show. If you go back and look, it'll say I sold 16 of these overnight. So I did. I ran out of stock, but I went back and I bought 99 more. 99 more of these calendars. They're from 1992. They go for $14.77. And I sold, well, I shipped off two, whatever I did on the shipping show this morning, which was two calendars and a puzzle, that stuff's gone. Now I've got 18 more to ship. So that's why I bought 99 of these because they're going to go and it was a uh, just one of those cool investments that was right there and it's kind of like that song ebay shine every day you know we buy in lots we'll take it all that was all they had i bought it okay so let's get a little touch into the bag and get into it first thing we have here okay so so that other bag of stuff's over there here's this bag and i pulled another one of these out of here but this one is not taped Right, is it the same? Pan, Florida District, yep, same thing. Okay, so put that with the other ones. Now I got two of those. 
They always have these cool placemats. Back in the 80s, placemats were kind of a thing, I think. 70s and 80s. I remember going to my grandparents' house and my aunt's house. And I think we even had some. They're laminated and it says, uh, there's some really cool stuff in here. There is a destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. Boom. Nothing should be more highly prized than the value of each day. Am I right? Is that right? That's right. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, this goes on your wall. You can put your remote control or your phone nowadays. In the 80s. Okay, here we have another different salesman sample. That's super cool. So there you go. That's another 15 to 20 bucks. Well, this is uh, what we used to put above our visors back in the 70s, 60s, and 80s. Put your license registration up in that. Oh my gosh, does that really say John Deere? Look at that. That is a keychain. It's a keychain holder. But I just saw this at John Deere. That's crazy. That just bumped up the price, man. Right there. And what do you got here? Another thermometer. So put that with the thermometer lots. A ruler. I've got a bunch of these. Put that with a lot. Oh, it looks like this goes on top of a water bottle. But it has a compass in it. So that's pretty cool. Huh, never got one of those before. This, I already know what this is. This is stationary. It has little kitty cats on it. I do use this. Sometimes I'll cut off the kitty cats though. I'll just cut it out like that. Or I'll just use it like that if it's going to a girl. But to guys, I don't send the kitty cats. That's lame. Oops. That's that. What else you got in here? That is uh, a first aid kit. I think my daughter has one of these in her, her backpack. These we take out though because they're old. What is this? Potpourri lace sachet. Sachet. I, no, it doesn't even stink anymore. Well, let's see here. What is this? The second annual tractor pulling days, 1982. Oh, yeah, baby. There's something there. I'll have to look that one up. Oh, there it is. There's another one. 20 bucks. So where's, my, where's all this other so stuff? Because I don't want you guys to think I'm jiving. I ain't jiving. Where'd I put that other one at? Oh, here they are. Boom. Look at that. And then they're the same but different, you know? Some of these keychains fell out. I'll have to put them back in there. But that's cool. Okay, what else? Another one of these, right? So once I get 10, I'll put them all together. It's gold and black. And this is an Apollo 12 patch. I sell these for 14 bucks all day long. So this one is paying out. Remember, I pay $2.50 for these grab bags, and then I cherry pick it, and over time I've, you know, listed stuff, and if things have sold, things have failed, but uh, for the most part, it's good, right? So, what is that? A little magnifying glass, a vinyl wallet or check holder, checkbook holder, a Christmas card, This is pretty cool. I've opened up this and checked these out before. It's a trivia game from the 80s, like 82, 83. So all the questions are, you know, from the 70s and 80s. Uh, another one of those pocket mirrors. That one's not that much fun. It says, look inside and see a friend of ours, Ross Mortuary. And then you look inside, it's a mirror. That's lame. But anyway, uh, here's another one of those foot fungus callus scrapers, whatever it is. There's one of those. 1984 horizontal pictures. These are kind of fun sometimes. I'll go through and utilize these as thank you cards as well. Just right on the back. Thank you. Let's go through, cherry pick the good ones that are kind of universal. So that's kind of fun. I'm going fast because this video is already 13 minutes long and I'm trying to make it short third. Okay, and last but not least is a little tiny picture frame in plexiglass or Lexan. So to recap, the money to be made here is going to be on the salesman sample keychain dillies like that and the bridge table toppers as well as the Apollo thing so let's call it 20 40 60 80 about 90 bucks on a five dollar investment 
A um, lot of fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. Um, I guess that's it. I'm Todd, the Flippin' Hustler. And uh, make sure you go ahead and do all those things I said to do. And I will see you soon. Bye.